When you first came to Cape Cod, um, or to Provincetown specifically, did you know or have a feeling um, or a desire to one day live here and be a full-time painter? Uh, when I first came to Provincetown, um, I was drawn to the art, um, and early in my life I had played a little bit with some watercolors and things like that, but at first it, the idea of being an artist hadn't uh, kind of uh, crossed my mind. And um, in the, just after 2000 or whatever, um, I've been traveling to Europe some uh, with my travel work and had seen, you know, some of these monuments in Rome and whatever, and I kind of got inspired to try to create, you know, to paint them, you know. And I played, you know, on vacation with some acrylics and whatever, and I was kind of surprised at the results, you know, and kind of enjoyed the expressive way of, uh, you know, the kind of creative expression. And then uh, one summer we came here, uh, it was 2008, and uh, Robert Cardinal had a, a, um, a, 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 a gallery over by where, where today is uh, Joe's Coffee Shop. And there was a little sign in the window that said, you know, painting workshop, and it was the week that we were on vacation. And I was just like, oh my God, this is like, incredible you know because we'd always loved Robert Cardinal's uh, paintings and so uh, Monday morning I you know packed a little, little uh, sandwich and Steve put me out on the front steps sent me off to camp <laughs> and uh, it was just so eye-opening like his his teaching his technique you know whatever and it just brought my work that had been developing nicely to a whole new Kind of maturity. Certainly, I mean the blue skies in your work are um, very recognizable to you specifically. But um, knowing that you've had the training from from Robert Cardinal, it's certainly easy to see where your influence comes from mm -hmm. as far as paint, painters mm -hmm. and teachers are concerned. Mm -hmm. Your, um, I think I'm right about this that. You've had various studies in and also have taught in different uh, various religious studies. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder over time, those combined with your travels, did that or does it today inspire you as a painter? Yeah. Uh, so, so yes, I was trained as a uh, religion uh, professor or philosopher of ethics and religion and have been teaching that since um, the mid 80s. Um, and, um, you know, have spent time in Europe studying and obviously very inspired by kind of the great masters, you know, Michelangelo, Raphael, people like that. Um, and a lot of people say that, you know, my work has this kind of light to it. There's some. Um, a, a good friend of mine from college actually the other day had bought a piece and she said, you know, it feels like it's lit from within. Mm. Uh, and and, I, and I, I keep hearing that from people, you know, and uh, I, I love the play of dark and light, you know, Caravaggio uh, is one of my favorite uh, painters and, you know, like his uh, uh, St. Matthew Cycle in San Luigi de Francesi in, in Rome. It's just this beautiful, like the light just seems like it comes into the painting, you know, so so I've been wanting to find ways to capture that here at the Cape, you know. When people are in the gallery and we're speaking about your work to them, um, the words play of light and how Michael Hartwig as a painter really captures the space and the air and the light around a structure or around the dunes, uh, this is a frequent conversation that we have with people. And I've heard people say that when they look into your paintings, they can feel that, that there's a certain spiritualism um, and calmness and peace that uh, they see in your work. And I wonder if you feel that in your work as well. Uh, yes, um, and, and what, what's kind of interesting, it, I, I assume, all painters have a little different process or whatever, but I love the initial um, 
kind of experience of putting something, you know, kind of sketching something out on canvas and starting to get what they call the values, you know, the, the, the how bright certain things are, dark certain things are. And, and it's like, you know, in half hour, 45 minutes or whatever, all of a sudden this, this image just appears and you're just like, oh my God, you know, and it's this, this, you know, it's not like you go in and say, okay, this is, I'm going to make this happen. It's like you, you go in and you kind of play with the process and all of a sudden something emerges, you know, it's, 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 and in that sense, it's kind of spiritual in the sense that it's something, it's a gift, you know, it's something that's coming out, you know, um, and then, then you play with it then you kind of refine it. And, and sometimes in the process, you know, um, uh, it changes, you start, you know, changing the values or the colors or whatever. Um, and, but it, but it's, a, it's, it's something that's bigger than yourself, you know, that's, that's coming through. So. Of course. Do you have a uh, favorite place in Cape Cod to paint? Um, and not meaning in your studio, but is there an environment, an area of the Cape or Provincetown specifically that you are drawn to and keep mm -hmm. going back to? Um, a lot of my paintings um, here at the Cape are of the dunes and of the water. Um, I, I love going to Race Point um, where you have the Coast Guard Rescue Station, the Coast Guard Station uh, that have wonderful reflections of light. Uh, I love the 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 air that blows over the seagrass, you know, and and uh, you know, I usually try to convey that in a lot of my paintings that it's not just grass; it's still, but it's like it's moving, you know. And and uh, uh, I love the different color of, of the sand, you know. It's not just white, you know, but it's got pinks and blues in it, you know. And, uh, so Race Point is one of the areas I love the just expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, you know. Uh, Herring Cove is wonderful. Um, and then the, the, you know, at the end of Bradford Street, you know, the marshes um, uh, and the dunes that kind of meet up with the marshes there. Uh, I, love, I love buildings too, like, you know, in the town itself. Um, so. People will often ask, is he painting at dusk or dawn? Because the light is very similar at dusk okay. and dawn, but uh, I, I think that painters will say it's very different, and I wonder how you feel about that. Uh, yes, uh, it's, and, and you know, usually from the pictures you can tell which direction the light's coming from, just if you know where the setting is and is it morning light. Um, the evening light seems to be more, uh, uh, red, vermilion, kind of a little bit more orangey. Uh, the morning light's a little lighter, um, but that can change too. I mean, it just depends on kind of, the, what I love about the Cape is the way the light bounces off of, of uh, the clouds and changes the hues and, you know, it's just, it's, it's magnificent, you know.